started sailing when I was seven years old, and um, I started in Opti's. Um, me and my mom would sail together in the Opti in the races, and um, eventually I started to get into the open skiff sailing, and pretty much went back and forth between that, some 420 sailing for high school, um, and now kiteboarding, which is honestly the most fun out of all of it. So. High performance sailing, you know, with windsurfing, kiting, and winging, it really puts you in tune with very minute changes that make a big lasting impact for the speed, balance, and performance of your boat. And those skills are very transferable. So in my program, you know, we're trying to teach elite sailboat racers on a high performance skiff. But after practice, we go winging, we go kiting, we go foiling, because they need these supplemental, really complementary skills in order to become better performance athletes. I think that kiting, it's, it's great because you kind of take away that fear factor that a lot of um, people, and especially little kids, might have um, when they're sailing in high wind and chop and stuff. So yesterday it was very windy, it was probably like, probably 17 to 20 knots. And with my kiting background, I was able to um, just kind of go through the chop and um, be strong enough to hike and stuff when the little kids were afraid so they kind of stayed in. I think that um, with the new, the new wing and the kites, um, we can have smaller kids learning it and then they can have less fear and they're going to want to be on the water longer. You know, yacht clubs and sailing programs more and more are going to embrace these fun um, but also really skill-based uh, pathways. You know, sailors pick this stuff up so fast because the, one of the hardest things to understand with any of these wind sports is how the wind works where it's coming from, points of sail, like fundamentals of sailing, and that, sailors have that, they know it. Um, so what I find that sailors, when they come into these sports, they pick it up so quickly. We want sailors who explore different boats, explore different facets of water sports, because it ignites their passion, it connects them more to the sport, and it broadens their education and their experience level. So, you know, we don't try to specialize. We believe in range, we believe in balance, and we, belong, we want sailors who who can play on the water and who have great balance, great athleticism, are precise with their body movements and their mechanics, but are also really smart racers. And ultimately, that's what's going to get them to the very top of the, of the podium. I'm really into the racing, and I've been doing it since I was so young. So for me, um, I really want to end up going to the Olympics or doing something that's along those same lines, um, which is why I think that having the kite foil racing in the Olympics is so fun and so cool. Um, because then it's like a great crossover between two amazing sports. When we started kite racing, I mean, Cabrina was really at the forefront. We started the first kite racing series in the entire world, which was called the Cabrina Kite Racing Series, right there in St. Francis Yacht Club. We had a bronzed um, trophy that was a perpetual trophy for the winner of the annual series. And I tell you, there was nothing that made me prouder than walking into that club, looking left at their trophy case and seeing our Cabrina bronze kite racing trophy right there next to trophies that probably go back to the late 1800s. I encourage all my athletes to, uh, you know, expand their skills with multiple water sports. And, and it's not just me. I mean, this is what we're telling at the Olympic level. We want these athletes broadening their skills. What I've found ever since being involved in this environment is uh, our general manager, Jim, our Commodores here uh, at Coral Reef have been so inviting of having uh, kite surfing and, and windsurfing races out of this club. Uh, and I think it's been great. I think that if you talk to the management here and the flag, they'd say, geez, it's one of the greatest things we can do. It, it's a small footprint. Our guys pump up their little kites and they put them away and they bring them home. We don't take their parking lot. We don't take their, their entire uh, yard. There's a nice young group of participants, but the age range is spread all the way up to people that are in their mid to late 60s even for some of the regattas we have. I'm really excited. I love seeing here at the US Sailing Center. I see way more kids showing up with foil boards and kites and wings now, and seeing them get on the water in, in these different ways I think is, is super, super exciting because it's just gonna open up all these different pathways that didn't exist before here and it's gonna keep people on the water having fun with their friends, doing healthy, fun activities outside. And that's, you know, all we could really ask for our kids.